Hello everyone and welcome back to City Skylines, the one hour a day build in our city of Lifström. We finally recovered from building the monuments. We're back up to 120k. So now we're going to consider expanding res how we're going to expand our residential area up into this area. We're going to put in we're going to start working on the traffic network that I was thinking about yesterday. But first, I'm going to crack open a beer. Cheers. So let's get to it. So over here, yeah, university availability is a bit low. High school availability is a bit is a bit low. Well, university is really bad, and high school is a bit low, but that's okay. Currently, that's somewhat intentional. We still have 81% traffic flow despite the rezoning, so we didn't kill anything. We'll just have to wait until all of this finally settles. And then we'll know more on that front. But let's get to these connections. Since this looks a bit whack anyway, it's an ideal place. Um... I don't know if we'll need a highway going up here. We will, however, need a road in some way, shape, or form. But we can also take a highway and just basically turn it into a road. So, yeah, once again, Timbo, give us our turbine. I just love these. They're just so wonderfully effective, and they still, and they really don't look bad either. Although I do have a few tweaks that I always do to them to make them run a little bit better than they do in stock configuration. If you haven't seen me put one of these in yet, well, you're about to. Not really much you can do about it now. Um, you know what? We will take those out completely and just hook those up brand new. won't be needing anarchy. We will, however, be needing node snapping. Uh, no, all, please. Thank you. Chirpy, get out of the way. Can't see anything. I'm guessing somewhere around here-ish. Come in around No, oh, it doesn't matter. It'll work. They can extend a little bit like that. So move it. Where are you? Actually, we want... I want to move that a little bit straighter. And then that will just... Yeah, wonderful. Works much better. And that now also looks better. Okay, so first things first. Upgrade that and that. And that and that to four lanes. Run our lane connector tools right there while we're already at it. So that way, at current, needs nothing. That is currently a dead highway over there. Hmm. 
We'll take that from here. Here, I don't think we'll need a turbine. Famous last words. I think this will work anyway, though. Obviously, we're going to want to pull that one a little bit closer. So, and just smooth that out a little bit. node over just a hint. Why is that not connected? Did we hook that up in the wrong direction? Are we idiots like that? Eh, sometimes we are. So, and now... Oh, that, no, that's it's completely pointless. That's right, because those are already only two lanes. So, uh, yeah. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We still want to do our connecting arrows, though. Even if it is two and three. That set up. Now it comes over onto the turbine, and here's where the fun starts again. Yeah, the curve is a little bit tight, but it's not too bad. I would, however, like to pull these out a little more. Uh, 
Yeah, that looks better. That looks much better. And once again, pop up to four lanes. Okay, so now that's in. We still don't have a forestry industry in here, but at least we have the infrastructure for it. So now comes this one. This one's actually going to be a little bit more of a party. get ugly, the intersections get placed. That's actually not too bad over there, but this over here needs to come from like here-ish. Just a hair. Yeah. So now we need a highway across those troubled waters. In fact, we'll go straight up to here. Just so we get that nice bridge. Oh, alternating. That works. Yeah, that's right. The rest of the infrastructure is actually intact again, so we can now let everything run. So our citizens can build a city while we build a road. So 
So we've got that much. We know where we want to go. Again, go over the tracks. actually want to have that straight. At least not for the entire stretch. So, what's the problem there? There is no problem. The game is trying to tell us there is one, there is one, but there isn't. So now that's set up. We haven't set up those lanes yet. Set them up all over there. They're set up here. Yeah, so I think that's. We wanted one more on this side as well, exactly. The question is do we want. Yeah, we're gonna want a turbine here because we're actually gonna come up with this road and curve up. Oh, that's right. This one we haven't even... Oh, we're actually going to need two. <laughs> <coughs> Didn't even think about that. This one will hang up here, and this one will hang up here. Although one of them may be able to get away without being a turbine. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's not quite what I was really hoping for. Hmm. Com I completely overlooked that we actually have two roads here that are going to want to be connected up. Hmm, you know what? I think I know what we'll do. It. We'll connect this one up to here no hmm the thing is the question is do we if we if we put two two turbines in do we we don't really need two ways to join up there we may actually take this one and connect over here That won't do us any good. Because this a connection across from here is probably not a bad idea, but a connection across here is probably also not a bad idea. In fact, we will. <laughs> we will actually wind up with... Oh god, four more turbines. <laughs> How does 
this look overall? Uh, that was the wrong. So we've got one main here, we've got one main here. This is our basic outside ring, so to speak. Yeah, and then we'll just have two more coming through here. With the option, maybe, to actually have one going across here. Mm, but how do we get this one in? If we come up here... That's really not going to look nice, is it? This one is less of a problem. In fact, we'll do this one. No, we won't do it first. Just because it's less of a problem doesn't mean it's not something we have to do. Um. Yeah, I know where we'll go. I know where we'll start this. We'll start this project from here with one of these. need to get out of the roads completely because as soon as we hook these back up everything will be just hunky-dory again space already occupied by what Okay, so yeah, these have to be moved a little bit. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> yeah, that was also easier than I thought. Excellent. that up, set that up, set that up, so which way exactly are we headed? We're actually headed over here-ish. Basically gonna semi-follow the river. Exactly. And then come over to about here-ish. Uh, don't necessarily need to be that high. Although, you know what? We'll actually leave that up there. Uh, but not as a... Not a too high, though. We don't necessarily want a raised highway going through the entire city. The only reason we had that up that high was to get over the train tracks here. Great for that nice for that bridge. Excellent. That is exactly what we wanted. At 
to turbine or not to turbine. And I know I'm building this the wrong way around. We're gonna flip this right now. This one doesn't, though. where that turbine's going to go in. Probably because we can't place it on water, right? What if we raise it up? Slope too steep. Well, you know what? That's what anarchy is for. Let's see what that turns into. I wouldn't say too steep, but yeah, slightly nuts. Mm, although up here we may legitimately have a too steep issue. I kind of agree on that. But hey, that's what the movement mod is for. Jet, but this time I caught it right off bat. That's how that one needs to go in. Ha, perfect. Oh, and I completely forgot to set up turning around lanes on the other turbines, stupid me. One second, we'll get to that. Oh, this one has them? I think that one's been in a little bit longer, too. 
This one probably doesn't. Yeah. doesn't have a turbine. This one probably... No, it does already have them, even though it's new. Well, no, it's not actually completely new, that's right. We put that in last level, last turn, last uh, episode, that's right, because this is the... This is their connection to the main highway. So that's actually not new. that in. See if we can't just move it all over a little bit. Uh, that looks reasonable, somewhat. We'll move that up. That node. No, move it. Thank you. Just create a little bridge there. That is kind of like a little gorge. No, uh, that's not what we want to do. And I just noticed we also have to turn the other road around, of course. Go and as you can all see, before you go comparing, uh, complaining about the people planning your city, just remember you could li be living here. Think twice about whether or not that would actually be an improvement or not. Uh, no, that's totally the wrong one. Oh, did I not do this all the way? Stupid me. Now we can let it run again, yeah. Because now they're get just getting more roads. In fact, we could have let it run the whole time now that I really think about it. But better to not let it run. And not be stupid, be badly surprised than the other way around. Because when you least expect it, the city will think of some way to completely ruin your day. Uh, 
Like, for example, right here. Space already occupied by what? Oh, that's what's happening. It's screwing itself because of the bridge. also have a connection all the way up to here. Of course that once again needs to pop up to four. And we need to lane manage that. And now we need one final highway. out over here Problem? What is the exact pro- Oh! Because that's also already raised up. Still letting us put that in without anarchy, so that's nice. So now they have to go you know, basically a long straight stretch. Oh, because we're still in the in move it mod mode. snaps to here. Mm -hmm. Why do we only get... a bridge on that section? And not on that section? We get him spaced much closer. Ah! On that section, that's almost as bad. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, because... Yeah. Same thing as last time. Because we're not... is just trolling us at this point, I think. But it is doing a good job, so there's that. <laughs> it still only places two. What the? Mm, nah, who cares? Is that like a Distance issue, or no? There's there's more than enough space between there. So one more turbine, and then one more sideways connection up here. right. Got the wrong road, of course. is just going to have to be a bit of a harder turf. Neither one of those looks pretty nice, pretty. So. starting to get this to look somewhat reasonable. Despite those hard cur hard curves or harder curves, they shouldn't actually be hard enough to cause any problems though. Oh no, it's just... Uh, it's not just because, once again, we forgot something. That's 
that's not the way that's supposed to work. Insane mega city are we going to wind up with here? Starting to think we may have bitten off more than we can chew. Got it. That's where this goes south, so exactly happened here. That's not at all the way that's supposed to work. That said, that may actually be just what we needed. Move this node over just to here and actually take it as a straight stretch. Get rid of the movement mod. so far as to redraw part of this highway. It's just going to be easier than using meh. The move it mod on half of it. At least theoretically, if we can find and use the right tools. There, much better. hook up basically like they were supposed to be there. Excellent. Nope, not there, but here. And here. Now it's really only just this stretch here around that I like how I say only as if it were actually easy.
That worked. Now we have one last time to jump over. That's way, way, way too close to here. For the final stretch up to... <laughs> if at first you fail, fail, fail again. a little bit that's not so bad okay so now we have our arteries set up again we may still draw cross lines here although this is actually kind of a cross line already but for the most part our main highway network is set up now Except for the fact that this goes down to... Oh, seriously. Oh, that's what that's what I wanted to download yesterday. Now I remember I wanted to get the unlimited outside connections mod so that we can get rid of exactly that. Oh, well, too late. Have to do that later, tomorrow, something like that. Uh, what does the time say? Mm, yeah, we got a few more minutes, but not much. So let's see what the story is down here. 44 commercial build uh, industrial buildings with not enough customers 38 with not enough worker 38 buildings with not enough workers so we need some more residential and since we now know where exactly we're going to expand that and how well not exactly how but at least where we can start drawing that in This chunk is going to go to around here. And there'll probably be another one. In fact, you know what? We'll just draw the frame. set up like water and well water specifically there is no end because we don't have to set up power anymore with the electric roads mod So 
on uh, water. We all know that something's probably going to wind up in here eventually. Even if for now it's just a highway, so... We'll just make sure it has water. And so much time just drawing these pipes that we might actually run out of time to do anything else, which isn't necessarily a problem. Tomorrow's also a day, but obviously it's going to be a little bit anticlimactic. Build all of this in to see absolutely nothing happen. Yay! <laughs> there. Okay. So now that we actually missed some? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> After all of that, we still missed a, a not insignificant chunk. Chat. One second. Yeah, it was a little bit too slow. Yeah, but now we got it again. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we want to start expansion now, or do we want to let this? Oh, you know what? We could almost. <laughs> If we wind up putting our city services in these little two nooks, that'll probably actually serve almost everything. Because some of them are going to be getting services from the other side without any problem anyway. And we're also going to facilitate that in some spaces by just having like some roads that come over as well. But first we're going to have to hook those up to the highway. So let's get that done. Mm hmm. And we also don't have a way for this highway to get in here. We're all turning around and coming through here. Which could be worse, but could be better. Right now it's about this area. And there, and the needs that they'll soon have. Something off, or what? Mm, it doesn't look like it.
should all be reasonably well connected. In fact, we can add one more out. that actually does go past all the supports and everything. It just barely fits in there, but it does fit. <laughs> so now we flare all of these connections up to four lanes. These were never that those were never flared up. Right, there was this one. So we'll do our traffic management on those since we're already here. set up okay that's now four for coming off so we need another four for coming on four for coming off yeah we need to pop that one up as well I think once we get done setting up the highways, as dumb as it sounds, we're probably going to be out of time for today. So why did I only set up two of those and not all four? Probably just wasn't done yet. set up that. So now we need how to figure out how we're going to do the insides of these, or of this specifically. The outside we can almost even already zone to unlimited offices. Keyword being almost. We're not really quite that far yet. Because again, we kind of want to make this commercial and we don't want to have the offices out here being higher than the commercial zone in there necessarily. <laughs> All something to think about. If we were to put an incinerator in here, oh, gra tra garbage coverage is excellent. Except, of course, out here where there's just nothing yet. But they can even get all, almost even out to there. 
So garbage coverage is, is a non-issue just about everywhere. If we put this in here, it'll fit half. And yeah, not even. So that even if we do have like service nooks over here, we're going to need at least over here and over here. And I don't think we're going to do much better with fire or police or uh, basically the same coverage. Okay. And then of course we also need to think about our industry expansion, but we need some commercial and some residential before we can actually think about that. Uh, you know what, we'll start drawing in like our... Nah. You know what, we won't. We'll leave that for tomorrow. So we'll just pop up a cinematic camera. Well, you know what, maybe we won't even do that. We'll just take a quick look whether or not this looks like it could hold a city. And I think it can. We've, we've definitely got reasonable connections now going just about everywhere where we'll eventually need them. This is also three lane all the way to the end, right? Yeah. So it's really just over... Let's check quick. Yeah, these are still running like that. And these... Oh, and there are actually two lines here with an outside connection. Those are two separate outside lines. But here they just allow themselves to connect so we could actually very strongly cons wait a sec it's two coming from over here and over here it turns into only one and then over here it becomes nothing so there is actually only those two train lines running yeah this is one double track this over here was actually two tracks wasn't it yeah that's two segregated tracks for cargo and for people, basically, if we decide to use it that way. Which would then mean we just basically have to cut one off completely, like somewhere around here. But yeah, all of that is stuff, basically, for the next episode. I mean, we don't want to finish this all in one day, otherwise we don't have anything to do for the next year, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think with that, we're going to quit for today, or for this episode, and yeah, as usual, you guys have been great, I've been Zerb, and I hope to see you next time for more of the one-hour build, and as usual... If you've liked, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please feel free to like and subscribe on YouTube or to follow me on Twitch. So, yeah. Cheers, guys. Take care. And with that, I will actually be stopping the Twitch stream completely for today. As I just said, you guys have been great, but uh, unfortunately there are only so many hours in a day, and I do have to work later. So I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.